We had a nice taste of warmer temperatures, but I guess we knew it wasn't going to last. Yeah, nice to see that sunshine today. We're in for some cooler temperatures now, it sounds like, Andrew. That's right. Emphasis on the word cooler. No dramatic drop, but yes, we may need to go into the closet, grab our winter coats once again, at least for tomorrow afternoon. Take a look at your four zone weather. As we go through uh, tonight, it does get chillier. Not as cold as it was this morning. We had teens and 20s. Tonight, upper 20s and low 30s overnight. Between 30 and 35 degrees here in the metro zone in your four zone weather. Mid middle 30s also 35 or just a bit less in our south zone in Lenway and Monroe counties. West of 275, same deal. Temperatures right around the freezing mark by dawn on your Sunday. A little bit colder, but not by much. Upper 20s to about 30 degrees also in our north zone. But skies remain fair, mostly clear, just like we have right now. 52 degrees. Yes, we're still holding on to the 50s for now, but next hour temperatures will dip into the 40s before we see those 30s overnight. And we are still counting down to spring. Just seven days away, folks. Next week, Saturday, a week from today, it begins with the equinox at 537 a.m. And tonight, daylight saving time. No S begins. Sunrise and sunset just nearly an hour later than tonight. Make sure you change all the batteries and all of your alarms as well. Smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors too. Temperatures right now mostly up in the upper 40s to about 50 degrees or so. 48 for our friends in Oxford while it's 40 degrees on Gross Eel surrounded by that chillier water. 52 for our friends and neighbors over in Carlton. Again chillier tonight but not too cold. Temperatures dip into the low and middle 30s overnight. And it remains mostly clear. That's what we have right now. You can see a system here off to the west. That is going to make its appearance here on Monday into Tuesday. We'll, we'll take a look at that in just a second. But first, the good news is high pressure is in place. Nice, stable air. So dry conditions for tonight. Dry conditions for your Sunday with a few extra high or mid-level clouds by the afternoon or evening before this system arrives. You see some blue showing up here. Yes, it does mean some snowflakes, but just an extra nudge from old man winter saying, I'm still around. There's a chance of some scattered snow showers mixed with rain showers from Monday night into Tuesday. Is it going to amount to, to much? Fortunately, no. And much of it will be melting either on contact or very quickly. But we could see a trace to a half inch or just a bit more before Monday night is over. But by Tuesday afternoon, temperatures above freezing once again. So 33 degrees overnight as we spring forward one hour before going to bed. On your Sunday, sunrise, remember, nearly an hour later at 746, we go from 30s in the morning only into middle and upper 40s during the afternoon, so chilly during much of the day. Then increasing clouds on Monday, dry during most of the day on Monday. That chance for snow, mixed with rain once again, is for Monday night into early Tuesday. Any amount that falls, notice, temperatures go way above freezing, so it should be melting pretty quickly. 46 degrees on Tuesday. Look at St. Patrick's Day. We got some sunshine coming back with highs in the low 50s. And then by next weekend, sure, chilly, but temperatures slightly above average, middle and upper 40s as we go into Thursday and Friday, and back to near 50 degrees. And yes, next Saturday, spring officially begins. Astronomical spring, cannot wait for it. That is a look at your weather forecast. Back over to you.